Are you struggling with sleep and do you want to sleep better? If so, I've got the perfect class here for you where we're going to be lying down and it's going to help you either get to sleep or hopefully to get you to drift back to sleep if you've woken up. So when you're ready, we'll start lying down all together. And I want you to come down onto your back. Have your knees bent and your feet to the ground. If you're in bed, you can just stay there and do this in bed. You're going to bring both hands to your belly and allow the elbows to come wide. And then bringing your attention into your breath, breathing in and out through your nose. We're just going to think about breathing a little bit deeper into our bellies. As you breathe in, feel the hands rise. As you breathe out, feel the hands lower. But just keep the breath nice and easy, nice and simple. Bring the feet slightly wider than your hips. And again, your heels are about beneath your knees here. You're going to turn your head to the left and allow the knees to rock to the right. So the knees are rocking away from the way your head's gone. Think about the knee on your left hand side pressing away from you. So you get a nice stretch on this left hand side of the body. It's just a nice easy twist to begin with. We're keeping the breath low in the body. Breathing deep into your belly. On your next inhale, back through centre. Exhale, turn the head to the right, knees go to the left. So you're looking away from the direction of the knees. And it's again this right knee now that's pressing away from you, finding the stretch on that right hand side. You might feel it in the leg, you might feel it in the hip, maybe even in the body. Again, breathing deep into your belly. Keep that breath nice and deep, nice and full, but also easy. You don't want to be forcing the breath. And then we go back through center. We're going to bring the feet back to hip width apart and cross the left ankle over the right upper leg. So you're making this figure of four shape with the knee out to the side. So if you extended the leg, it would be like an upside down figure of four. But we're going to keep the foot down and just think about pressing that left knee away from you. You can use your hand to help you press or you can just use the pressure of your body forcing that knee away. Good. That might be enough and you stay there, or you can draw the right hamstring in. Maybe that's enough and you stay there, or you can hold the shin as well. Again, breathing deep. Keep bringing your attention back to your breath. So you may have different thoughts that arise, but you keep bringing your attention back to your breath back to the inhale and the exhale. And then slow to release down and swap over to the other side. Again, starting keeping the left foot down and just pressing the right knee away, either just with your leg by itself or with your hand helping. Still breathing deep into the belly and keeping your attention coming back to your breath. Again, maybe that's enough to stay there, or you can try, try bringing the hamstring in, or even the shin again. If you find the lower back really curls off, maybe try pressing the lower back down and easing back a little bit in order to keep the back down. So it just depends how flexible you are but you want to still be able to press the lower back down as you draw the leg in. Okay. 
Again, as your mind starts to wander, you allow those thoughts to pass through and your attention comes back to your breath. And then slow to release. We're going to hug both knees into the chest. Take your left arm around both shins, if you can. If you can't, then just holding wherever you can. But if you can get around both shins, then do that. And then we roll over to the left-hand side and we're opening the right arm out to the side with a bend in the elbow. And you can adjust here to make this twist work for your body. In these twists, focusing on the exhale and thinking maybe every exhale, this becomes a little bit easier or maybe you can adjust and make the twist a little bit deeper. Just feeling the body unravel, unwind into the twist. And then slowly back through with the legs, hug around with the right arm, again, all the way around if you can, and otherwise just holding wherever you can. Rolling over to the right, open the left arm out, and again, adjusting it so that this twist works for you. And again, every exhale, maybe you can go a bit deeper into the twist, or maybe that twist just becomes a little bit easier for you. Again, feeling your body just unravel the other way. Gently unwinding into this twist. And then when you're ready, coming back through centre, one hand to each knee, circle the knees around. And then we're going to bring feet slightly wider than hip width, allow the knees to rock in towards one another. We'll rest our hands on our belly and we're going to finish with some box breathing. So you're breathing in. Hold the breath at the top. Breathing out. Hold the breath at the bottom. Breathe in. Hold the breath at the top. Breathing out. And hold the breath at the bottom. Breathe in. Hold the breath at the top. Breathe out. Hold at the bottom. Breathe in. And then back to normal breathing. Good, and as you breathe, all I want you to do is simply think about making your exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. So if you're breathing in for a count of four, try breathing out for a count of six. So just that little bit longer on the exhale then your inhale. Good, and hopefully this is gonna help you drift back to sleep. When you're ready, you can extend the legs and get comfortable. And just try not to worry about anything other than making your exhales that slight bit longer than your inhale. Keeping the breath easy, allowing any thoughts to pass through taking all the time you'll need, you need, and just allowing the body to completely relax and let go. Good. 
good. Have a lovely sleep.